Hi, my name is Tremina Wall, and I want to say happy anniversary to you, Bishop Wooden. I thank God for you, and I thank God for everything that you have instilled into my life. Um, some 30 plus years ago, um, I was able to meet you at a tent revival. And from that tent revival, we went into home services. And from the home services, we went into your first church that you built. Um, life took you to Raleigh. Um, my family and I, we stayed in Candor. And I had always wanted to come to Upper Room to be a member. And the Lord had started dealing with me about going into ministry. And whenever he did, I told God that I would, but I asked him if he would allow me to be reared under your ministry. Some years went by and all of a sudden, the Lord began to lead me to come to Upper Room. I finally came and that one visit at Upper Room turned into a job. It turned into me becoming a member at Upper Room. And it happened during the same time that you were becoming Bishop and you opened up NC Third Kojic Academy. I was able to go to Kojic Academy. I graduated from Kojic Academy and here I am now about to be a missionary and spread God's truth. I thank God for you I thank God for the holiness and sanctification peace that you drive into us. And I thank God so much for you. I thank God for First Lady Wood and I thank God for your family. I thank God for the ministry here. Um, you have been a great inspiration in my life. I thank you for everything that you've done. I thank you for always having an encouraging word for me. I wanna wish you a happy anniversary. I pray that God blesses you and takes you higher and higher. God bless. Well, hello, and God bless you. I'm Brother Kenley Williams, and I'm here to wish my bishop, my pastor, my leader, my teacher, my fellow Upper Room rider, and most of all, my friend, a happy 35th pastoral anniversary. Bishop, I am so grateful for the indelible mark that you've made in my life. My life's trajectory has changed since I've been part of your ministry. Life changes are called Ebenezer moments, and Ebenezer moments are times when you know, without a doubt, God has intervened in your life. Ebenezer moments are when you realize that only God could have allowed the outcome you have experienced. Only God could have foreseen that I needed to meet a man like you and to be a Christian that I am today. Ebenezer moments are God forming the upper room riders. Men coming together who love the Lord and fellowshipping through Jesus Christ through the bike ride. Their encouragement that we receive from you and I have the opportunity to sit at your feet to listen and learn valuable wooden nuggets have shaped many of the riders lives. Plus. Just like the disciples, I was given the nickname. I am the exception. I am forever indebted, Bishop. There is an amount of money I can repay you for how you have impacted my life and the lives of my family. Bishop, I watch you be a leader amongst leaders. It's because you're a man of courage, speaking up for God's truth. It's because you're unmovable on common sense policies. It's because you're not afraid to stand alone for the life of the unborn or acknowledging that worship is worth the risk. You've set the standard for the local church through the national church for all of us to meet. I've said all that to say that I thank God for you. I pray God's choice blessings be upon you. If you upper room, if you love him the way I love him, let's come celebrate our man of God, Bishop Patrick Lane Wooden Sr. Keep pedaling, sir, and happy anniversary. Ebenezer. Thus far, the Lord has helped us. Prepare your hearts and minds for the 35th pastoral anniversary of Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. to be held Sunday, September 18th. 